STR Super Vegeta. Ha, ah, yes. This is a bit of a unit that has had his time, and he was power crept very, very quickly. Why? We're going to talk about why. STR Super Vegeta is a unit that comes out during the God Event meta. And how does he perform for the God Event meta? Now, he can work in the God Event meta, provided he does not take too many attacks. Because this guy is able to do guaranteed crits, which is definitely super great for the God Event. But his defense was definitely really, really lacking. And where that made up for him for defense was for his good leader skill, that being Mastered Evolution, slash Pure Saiyans, 3 key, 130% HP, and 107% to attack and defense. And the reason why I say his leader skill is so good is, A, because Pure Saiyans is the biggest roster in the game, by far. I mean, come on, we stop at the LRs. Look at the LRs. Come on, let's... I don't even need to talk about Pure Saiyans and why him leading Pure Saiyans is obviously a good thing. And Mass Evolution, the one thing I want to point out about Mass Evolution... Is the fact that there are golden freezes on here, i.e. LR golden freezes on here, AJO golden freezes. Every golden freezer being on here is definitely very, very good because that means you have some defensive cushioning to fall back on. Also, I mean, obviously the LR gods on here, but who cares because they're on pure saints anyways. So him being a unit that can do guaranteed crits and him having a, quite a solid leader skill for his time is definitely very, very good. And you can make it past the god event with this guy just based off of that fact anyways also i mean the physical stages for the god event which is like not that hard like the aoe like i think it was like moscow that's his name i'm gonna bring up the god event too while i'm at it i'm gonna bring up the god event i want to bring up extreme sewer bad road when i'm talking about it yeah extreme sewer bad road and let me get the i hover over the god event i did it's right over here so for the god event i mean you had moscow who was like an aoe super attack but i feel like this guy worked out for moscow anyways because i mean those physical bosses did not hit these str enemies well excuse me these str characters that hard so for every physical stage and like sidra was like the easiest stage so this guy performed all right in the god event but i mean he can still he can still get you killed it's something let's just let's just get that out the way there is units like, even though they are a type advantage over the units, like, Moscow could still kill you, but he didn't really take too much damage, provided he did get hit first to get his defense. So, I feel like he performed alright in the God event. I'll just go ahead and change my mind and say he performed alright. Now, for the main event that he was meant for, that being Shinsu or Bad Road, I felt like this unit dominated extreme super bad road because why i mean he has guaranteed crits and he guaranteed stuns more so the fact that he guaranteed stunned was the reason why he performed so well in super bad road and another thing the toughest stage inside of extreme super bad road was pure saiyans wasn't it right i'm pretty sure it's pure saiyans at the time yes yeah, level 27 pure saiyans only this was quite a tough fight it's like before this guy's release, this was this was pretty tough. And I feel as if though this is still one of the toughest extreme super battle stages in the game. Because those characters hit you so hard on normal attacks. Like guys, we, we pull up Pure Saiyans again. Like, listen, baby, this this is a good category team. We stop at LRs. Look at all these LRs. Yeah, like some of these LRs are top 10 LRs in the game, i.e. Burku, both the seven-year anniversary LRs. And what's another, another top 10 LR I want to prove to you guys that's in top 10 too? I mean, this LR SJ Goku right here also. I mean, yeah. Literally four out of four out of like all these LRs are top tier LRs. I mean, pure Saiyans. Look at this team. I mean, are you, are you serious? What, we're, what, guys, we're still, sh we're still scrolling. So, yeah, I mean, Pure Saiyans being the team it is, even though it's still one of the biggest category teams in the game, some of the most top-tier units in the game, it's like, it was still quite a tough stage. You get hit so hard. That was just the point of the stage. At the time, of course. I mean, obviously, some of the buffs that are on here weren't here at the time. But still, the point still stands. Pure Saiyans being the, the powerful category team it is, could still get destroyed anyways. So, I mean... He performed well for Extreme Super Battle Road because he did guarantee stuns and he did guarantee crits. And he also performed well for the God Event because provided he did take his first hit, this guy was doing quite well. I feel as if though if he super attacked and took his first hit, 
within that same turn, I feel like he could have he could have tanked okay for the God, and I feel like he he can work well. So yes, for both those respective difficult contests, this guy was quite good. So how does he perform in the red zone? <laughs> you guys want to bring him against Broly with 150% attack defense? Do you want him? I mean, I'm gonna try it. I don't think I'm gonna make it far, but I'm gonna try it. No, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna try it. So this guy in the red zone, hell to the no. I mean, 150% attack and defense. Come on now, he gets hit to get stronger. It's like no, this guy's defense is obviously lacking. Even though like, oh, Dev, it's 150% attack and defense. That's still not enough. I mean, look at his defense, Rainbow. I mean, 10,000. What? <laughs> no. Okay. So, how many 200% leader skills is this guy on? So, he is on... Let me take a double check at Pure Saiyans real fast. Pure Saiyans does not have a actual 200% leader skill besides Raditz. Raditz is complete dog water. But, yeah. Okay, so Pure Saiyans... I'm, I tell you guys, I can't wait till Pure Saiyans gets to some, some new 200% leader skill besides Raditz. Because Raditz is just so trash. Full Power does have a 200%. Vegeta's family does because he is on... He's on uh, Gifted Warriors, so he's on Int Mod Vegeta's leader skill. So that's one 200% leader skill. He is on the Goku and Gohan's 200% leader skill because it's Super Saiyan and Antrus Asphalt Saga. So that's two 200% leader skills. Worthy Rivals does not have one, obviously. Yeah, it doesn't have one. Let me close all these out. Uh, Andrew Sass Cell Saga does have one, but it's only for androids. But yeah, he's on the Goku and Gohan's one anyway, so that's still at two. Rapid Growth doesn't have one. Gifted Warriors does have one with Image Vegeta. So, I mean, we've already listed that off. Heavenly Events, no. Mass Evolutions. He's on, I mean, the RF Blues. He's on RF Blues 200 leader skill. So that's cool. So he's on three, three 200 leader skill. That's nice, for sure. So he is on the RF Blues 200 leader skill. He is on the... Maja Vegeta 200% leader skill, and he is on the Goku and Gohan's 200% leader skills. He's, he's on three 200% leader skills. That's cool. That's definitely cool for sure. But you're not bringing him. I mean, just that's pity pat. Did I miss any? I gotta keep double checking if I missed them because that should make me paranoid. I'm like, ah, shit. I'm, I might have missed one. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Someone gonna correct me down below in the comment section. God damn. Damn it. They got me this time. No, I don't be like that. <laughs> So, uh, what is good about this guy? So, what is good about this guy is obviously guaranteed crit to carry to each stuns, and uh, can be active at HP 50% more after the fifth start of turn of battle. I completely forgot about this. After a character receives one or more attacks, when there is an enemy whose name is Cell, or when he receives one or more attacks. Okay. So, it can be activated after five turns and above 50% more HP. That's fine. That's a fine active skill. I mean, five turns is a little annoying, but still, that's... I mean, you get this axe skill off, he's killing any enemy at, inside of Shinsu Battle Road. Because guaranteed crits and guaranteed stuns. So I think that's really the only good thing about him. This active skill is quite good. He guarantees stuns and guaranteed crits. And he also had a solid leader skill for his time, for sure. I could definitely say that. Um, and his leader skill is quite... His, I mean, it's not his leader skill, excuse me. His link set is quite solid. Prepare for battle. I mean, why does he have Saiyan Pride? I mean... We know why he has Saiyan Pride, because he does a little, little thumbs thing. Yeah, of course, of course. He has a solid link set. He has a solid link set. He has a good active skill. I mean, a solid active skill condition requirement. That's okay. He had his, like, a, his passive was, I'm going to talk about his passive in a moment. I mean, guaranteed crits, guaranteed stuns, solid leader skill, good active skill, okay link set. This guy was, he was alright for his time, for sure. Now, what is bad about him, to be honest, I feel as if, though... He could start out with more defense, more attacking defense. Like, if this guy had damage reduction, I tell you, yo, they would never give a unit who guarantee crits and guarantee stuns damage reduction. Like, could you guys imagine if this guy had, like, 250% attack and defense at the start of the turn with 50% damage reduction? It's like, let's take all of this and just give them this as a start of turn uh, attack and defensive buff. Like, like, like just, let's just add all this up and put this as a start of turn. And then give him damage reduction. And then leave the, the guaranteed stun there. He would be gross. This would be a gross unit. But yeah, the only problem that I have with this unit is the fact that for him to look good, he has to get hit. Yeah, he has to get hit for this attack and defensive buff for him to look formidable to hit slightly harder and have better defense. Like, it's more so for that defense part, to be honest. So, yeah, I think that's what really about it. I think his only issue is the really that get hit part and the fact that he doesn't gain defense on super but like other than that it's like he's he's an eh, he's an all right unit honestly he's really all right unit uh his best linking partners too i mean you're all right 
to be honest. Obviously, you two as a as a battle road rotationer is actually pretty crazy because you both have stun chance. Well, you stun, you guarantee stun, but you have stun chance. Uh, you are all right. I feel like people don't give you enough credit. Uh, you're obviously quite solid. But then, like every former Transformer Vegeta is actually just ass. But I think that's really about it. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.